My name is Tao. I'm from the Smart Homes Project in Iowa State University. Today I'm going to introduce you to um, this device. We have developed um, a prototype in Smart Home Project. So I'm going, to, um, I'm going to introduce to you what this device is and what are the motivation behind making this device and some of the purpose it uh, serves. Okay. First of all, this device is kind of like a wearable, wearable device that um, people can wear around their neck such as this and basically what it does is kind of um, it has the camera okay it automatically takes pictures to every like five seconds and it has a very large internal um, memory so it can take the two days worth of um, pictures and store that in the internal memory it also has the status LEDs and has some kind of push buttons that user can push. And um, on the right here, there is like speakers. Okay, okay, let's flip it to the to the back. And on the back, um, this uh, this device is um, a GPS unit. So as you walk around um, outside, it also kind of geotag your location at different times. And internally, it also has um, kind of Bluetooth connections, uh, USB connections, as well as the accelerometer, so you can sense vibrations. And for that purpose, it can um, serve as um, a pedometer, so it can kind of uh, keep track of the calories as you walk throughout the day. So um, these are the basic components of this device here. So what does it do? Um, some of the mo ba uh, motivation behind this uh, includes uh, helping people with Alzheimer's disease. Um, for example, people with Alzheimer's disease, they usually kind of um, have very short um, memory span. And, they, and what this device uh, does is kind of creates a journal for them as they kind of pass through the day and kind of takes pictures and remember their locations. So at the end of the day, it can kind of help replay the images and the locations to the user um, on a computer so that it can kind of help them remember what they have done during the day or the day before and so on. So right now I'm going to kind of switch to my computer and um, I'm going to talk to you some of the motivations and inspiration we drew from some of the existing devices. The first one is the Philips Life Alert with um, Life Line with Auto Alert. And this pendant light device basically functions as an emergency um, buttons. So in case the the bearer or patient that wears this device encounters an episode of heart attack, he or she can press these buttons and this device is gonna send a radio stress signal to a base station. And that base station is going to relay that stress signal to 911 hospitals. And this one requires a monthly so, uh, subscription service, about $13 per month. Okay. And the second is from Microsoft. Um, this device is very similar to what we have developed here. And as you can see from these pictures, it has the um, camera to take the photo journals throughout the day. It also has um, infrared uh, motion sensor um, instead of an um, accelerometer as we do in our device. Okay. And the last one is um, I touch, which represents a class of smartphones or PDAs um, people us can find on the market. For this device, this type of devices, they are usually um, engineered um, for younger generations uh, for socializing, um, for uh, sharing personal information. So when it comes to um, people with Alzheimer's disease, it, it might not um, function as well as the specifically designed hardware. Okay. So those are the uh, products we have reviews before we made this uh, PAL2 device. Okay. And the next, I'm going to show you uh, the concept 
our initial um, concept for this device. And as you can see here, this device, this concept. In the middle, there is um, the camera, okay. and there are also two buttons and the status LED. Um, it looks similar, but it is quite different from our um, final design. Okay, next I'm going to talk about um, the electrical component of this um, device here. This device was um, manufactured through the PCB process, uh, which PCB stands for printed circuit board, and we have designed this printed circuit board in-house. Um, the reason for that is because we can um, minimize the weight and the size of the um, electrical components here. As you can see in the middle, there's like the central processor here, which is from Ad mode, which is connected uh, to a Bluetooth module on the top left uh, corner here. And right below this, the main processor, there is the, um, the speakers, as well as the, the accelerometers, the camera, the USB. Um, are located here, and the GPS are actually kind of located on the right because they are connected through serial interface. So these are the connectors for the camera, the GPS, and um, micro SD card for internal storage. Okay. Finally, I'm going to talk about um, the casing of this device here. This device is uh, the casing of this device is uh, done through uh, laser cutting on the acrylic uh, plexiglass. glasses. So this is the, like the drawing of the casing. Okay. Let me just kind of expand this and show you the internal um, constructions of this device. Okay, let's just start from the top. On the top, there's like acrylic um, that is cut by laser. This is the top cover, which has holes for the um, status LED, the camera, and the buttons, and also the speakers. And the next, uh, the cameras and the two buttons which are followed by two spaces, which are also cut um, in acrylic. In the center, there is our the circuit board. Okay. And in the bottom, there are three more spaces in acrylic, and which are followed by a back cover and a GPS unit. Finally, I'm going to talk to you about the design of the casing of this device. First of all, this, uh, the casing was uh, designed through computer-aided design or CAD. In our case, we use the SOLIDWORKS. Um, so this is the, the schematics of the casing of the device we have. Okay. Right now, let me just uh, kind of expand this device to show you the internal um, construction of this device here. Okay. Let's talk about the circuit board in the center first. So this is the circuit board we have um, manufactured through PCB uh, process. As you can see, there is the speakers, and there is the status LED, and this pad is for the buttons, and the Bluetooth module is on this corner here, as well as the USB connectors. And on top of that, there are two spaces, which are cut in acrylic through a laser cutting process. Okay, two identical 
acrylic. And in between these two, there are the two buttons, as well as the camera module. And on top of all this, um, there is the top cover, which is also cut in acrylic. Okay. The next, I'll move to the bottom. Um, as you can see, there are three more acrylic uh, plates that create some empty space for the batteries, okay, which, are, which is not shown in these schematic drawings, and as well as the back cover, on top of which is mounting the GPS unit. And this is the final construction of the device here. Okay. Uh, right now I'm going to talk about um, some of the data we have extracted from this device. First of all, this is Google Earth, uh, which is a free application you can download from the web. And this device uh, geotags the location of the user throughout the day. As you see, on the top left corner here, there's like the slide bar for the time of the day. As I can, as I slide this slide bar here, uh, you can see the location of the user at different time of the day. So in, in this case, this is like a hiking trip taking, taken um, outside. On top of this, there is also the geotagging of the photos as um, the user is bearing this device. So this device is taking pictures along the way. And now what's being shown here are the pictures at different locations. For example, if I click on any one of them, um, the software is going to zoom into the location of this uh, photo being taken. For example, this is the photo being taken at this location, which match up pretty well with the satellite images of Google Earth. By using this, um, the user of this device can kind of uh, walk through the day uh, in a virtual world like this. For example, the next time frame, um, the user is at this location, and this is what the user is seeing from this perspective at this time of the day.